So we are here at Foresight HQ with Dylan. He's uh, the marketing, you're the marketing guy, hey? Sales, marketing. Are you the guy that replies to all the comments? That's me. That's I'm, it. I'm the face behind uh, the socials. So and if, if you've ever been sassed with a, a GIF in a comment on Facebook, that was me. If you're unfamiliar about Foresight, I'm gonna link it here. Check it out. It's the full-on unboxing. These helmets are damn smart. They've got like cameras built in, LED bar, microphone. You can do all your vlogging, all your good stuff, all your good times with it. Listen, music, have a, have a damn blast. We're gonna team up with Harley Davidson Australia and we are going for a ride on a couple of delicious live wires. What we want to find out is can you you get on the bike on a Sunday morning with your boys, go shred some twisties, have some lunch, proper, familiar, authentic motorcycling day, and get back on one charge. To be honest, I just want to see how it goes around corners fast. So, yeah, and get paid for it because it's Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, this guy, I get paid from the views. So you know, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Also, last week's scram giveaway. This is the winner right here. It's Tuesday. The entry is closed tomorrow. So um, I don't know actually who it is, but. Check it out, congratulations, you have won a set of scrams of your choice, which you'll be taking away and wearing them. I'm not wearing mine at the and moment. And they are sick. So they are so sick. genuinely be stoked about that. Yeah, like that's, that's so incredible. Okay. If you missed out on this giveaway, make sure you subscribe to the channel, baby. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and um, you know, be part of the winning experience. Go, go, go. Mm -hmm. All right, on the road, the day has officially begun. <laughs> I'm excited, this is gonna be a good day. It is, yeah. I'm actually hella keen. So yeah, I've never like I've never ridden one of these before. So um, I like I don't know how I'm gonna I'm gonna feel in it. I'm hope like I don't want to make this a review. It's not really a review vid. It's gonna be more of like a you know we're just taking them for a rip. Obviously, I'm gonna have some sort of reaction riding an electric bike for the first time. I mean, the motive behind the video today is nobody has ridden a live wire. That's the point. Everywhere I go on this thing, I mean, I've literally got people hanging out of their car windows stopping me in the traffic, going, "Oh, is that the new live wire? What's it like?" How much range does it have? And that's motorcycle people too. Like I've got mates out at motorcycle shops. We get our parts from, I go out there, rock up on it. And everywhere you go, there's just a huge crowd around you wanting to know about it. So I thought while I've got this thing for a couple of weeks, I better kind of just record some stuff and show people how, how it goes. Yeah, oh, there's your ride. Oh, there she is. Yeah, I love the orange, hey. How cool is this? The boys are here. The boys have arrived. So is, that a little, is that a glove box? That's for the onboard charger. Ah, well, oh, serious, okay. That's going to fit oh, in that there. sits in there. Yeah. So is this the, is oh, that right. like the more portable fast charger? Oh, that it's one? not fast charge. Right. So this is still level one. Okay. Which is, uh, you know, if you, if you drained it to nothing, it would take roughly about 11 hours plugged into your Normal house. 240 sure. household outlet at home. So you've got what three levels of charge? We only use two. Okay. We use level one and level three. Oh, All right. Okay. Not level two. Okay. And three is your. That's DC. Uh huh. Um, fast charge. Sydney Olympic Park has a NRMA fast charger. Okay. I think it's 55 kilowatt. Is that a lot for that's, a charger? Yeah. That's. Yeah. That's, <laughs> that's a fast um, <laughs> That'll charge us in an hour. And how many of those are there about? There's a good many around. So there's an app, there's a couple different apps. ChargeFox has yep. an app. The other app is PlugShare. So ChargeFox is a better app. And if you sign up for ChargeFox, you can use paid chargers around the city. Oh, that's I think right, you do have to pay, don't you? Yeah, in my head, I just keep thinking yeah, you rock up and yeah. plug it in and it's all free. <laughs> so all the NRMAs free, are free right now. I think there's two of those in the city. And then ChargeFox is in Adelaide. And I think Anthony filled up the other day for $2.90. Oh, yeah, what? Wow. Yeah. That's sick. It's practically free. Practically free. Practically yeah. free. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, that, is, that feels whack. That feels a little bit whack. Oh, this is fun already. Yeah. Yes. I'm down with this already. I'm so down with it. Wow, feels incredible, man. These feel incredible. It's the future. Engine braking feels really natural. And it actually feels like a bike. It doesn't feel like, you know, you're riding something that's crazy electric. Man, engine braking is there. Woo! Yeah, it feels, feels good. Feels exciting. But yeah, literally at the lights, dead quiet, nothing happened, and oh, we can go. And then you just go. I've actually gotten used to the whole no clutch thing already. 
Wow. <laughs> but man, engine brake, I'm barely using the brake. I'm not even using the brakes. Look how quick it's going down. It's pulling up so well. And then that obviously is charging. Oh, went for a clutch. It's charging the batteries due to back EMF or eddy currents or whatever they call it. Yeah, cool, man. I'm into it. You're into it? You're ready to trade in the Triumph? <laughs> oh, let's go. Uh, you just go. <laughs> yeah, toots, man. Bloody toots. Ah, oh, look at this dirty, disgusting, smoking truck. Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, what a pathetic, <laughs> disgusting human being. I was ragging on everyone that owns an engine now. Alrighty, so let's set the scene a little bit here for everyone. We've just left Harley HQ in Lane Cove, Sydney. I've done the math on this. We should be okay to get this done in one charge. The boys at Harley have kindly left some charges under the seat for us. Should we start to get a little bit low in terms of battery capacity and have to find a charging point? For the sake of uh, the challenge, we're gonna try and get this done without touching the charges. So from Lane Cove to the end of the Old Pacific Highway, I think we've got about 60, 65 Ks. So round trip, you're talking 130. They actually charged it up for a little bit. I was, uh, I was banking from Alexandria where our head office is. That shoot up about 10%, but they gave it us a, a little top up. So 65 Ks there and back, 130. You get 220 Ks out of a charge, about 150 of motorway. So there's a pretty even sprinkling of motorway and stop. Well, actually, no, we jumped straight on the M2. So it's gonna be pretty much motorway the whole way. As opposed to a normal fuel powered motorcycle, seeing the 100 Ks on the motorway is actually worse for economy than if you were plodding around in the city. Sick, okay, so we just had a pie. So we're literally just emulating the vibes, although we were hungry as well. But emulating the vibes on how this ride would go if you're just doing your standard Sunday thing. Yeah, let's just, you know, it's the Barker Plates, man. This is where you go. Pie in the sky. The holy mecca. The holy mecca of pies. Sydney motorcycle. Let's suss out our range and stuff, see how we're going here. Well, they should be exactly the same. They should be. But mine's on economy. Are you, is yours on economy? I had or it on eco? road for most of the journey, and then when we hit the twisties, I put it in sport. Ooh. So I've got 73%, which is actually lower than I thought it was going to be. Oh, um, yeah, I think I'm... 76. That makes sense. Yeah. I had it in sport. So 167 Ks left. So I've got 158 left. So at a full charge, it's 230. I definitely haven't done 70 kilometers. From here, we're going to end up pinning it around some bends. There we go, some shade for you. That looks scary. We're gonna go around some bands, get some mad footage of everything, and just literally ride these things as we normally would yeah, on our gonna, petrol motorcycles. We're gonna go around some bands quickly. Very quickly. But not too quick. Not too quick. Because safety first. Yep. Safety first, man. Well, let me just put on sport mode, brother. Let me get it running first. Oh, there we go. Um, press start, which is that. Bark is now running. Mode is here. Wow, Boom. wow indeed. Sport, there uh, go. Stop talking, Rob. What's that? No, we, we're talking in each other's ear now. <laughs> no, no, go ahead. It doesn't really have one, it's electric. Two hours later. Gotcha. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, let's, do it. Let's, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, sport mode's bloody heaves better. Sport mode, oh yeah, it goes. <laughs> Holy crap, Ola, man. That oh, is dude. quick. I think I heard that go like whoop through your eye. <laughs> oh man, it's just so smooth, hey. Like strangely. It's so, it's too easy, bro. It is, man. It is so easy. It does. It's a little bit strange coming into a corner and backing off and kind of, you don't get the full engine braking experience. It's pretty close. And like not having to worry about gears or anything. It's literally just worry about braking and accelerating. Yeah. Woo. <laughs> oh, and then man. full torque, man. Just ups and boogies. Done 65 k's and I've got 60 percent battery left. I mean, like we're hammering. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna get back on one charge, <laughs> so we might have to plan that. Do you want to stick to that section then, or do you want to keep going? Like we don't want to run out of gas. Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be part of the thing there. It's just oh, 
So yeah, so we're on 60% already. So like if we drop to 50%, then that's literally... Well, that's halfway. Yeah, and we've got to make it back on this as well as doing some B-roll because we want to get some B-roll in. Yeah. Well, I guess we have to turn back. But yeah, spion, eh? <laughs> what do we just press on and deal with the consequences? Oh, well, we can. I'm easy, man. I've got all afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. We're gonna keep going, we're gonna push on. The boy's gonna push on. What, for like 10% more? Uh, but, but genuinely, what do we do if we run out and it's like... Oh well, yeah, I know, I don't know. We just call Harley to come pick us up in a van. Well, let's put, I'm gonna put it in road mode. Okay, I'll put mine in road mode. Alright, so we're putting it in road mode. We're gonna try to save, conserve some power. So let's press on, get to the end, and then turn around and come back. Okay. Alright. And just see what happens. Yeah, sure pretty interesting you guys so yeah i guess i guess right now you would be to the point of being like oh boys i don't know if i'm gonna be able to keep going with you all right well i suppose that answers the question that i had in my head of uh how much does uh riding spiritedly affect your battery capacity and it turns out it does quite a lot if you're pinning it and riding like a silly sausage you're gonna lose battery a lot faster <laughs> Wait, be careful in road because you got less engine braking. I reckon. Yeah, it just glides, hey. More on the brake now. Yeah, wow, you really miss that engine braking, don't you? Yeah, 100%. Pretty hard on the brakes. Wow. But there should be, should there be more engine braking so that the batteries are charging more? I don't know. I feel like that's the, the vibe. Unless we choose to make our own setting up and make the engine braking on like heaps. We're coming to the end now anyway. <laughs> 50. 52% man. <laughs> you want 52 as well? At the end of uh, Old Pacific Highway. Crap Ola. Halfway man. Interesting hey? It is. I'm like, I'm a little bit like, oh crap. <laughs> That's what we wanted though, wasn't it? This is it. This is it. Are we going to make it back? Who hell knows? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, well, we made it. We made it to where we wanted to be. But yeah, the plot has well and truly thickened. <laughs> um, yeah, we're pretty much down like smack bang on 50% hey. So we're like halfway. Like if we get back now riding the way we did just coming here. Well, I guess we'll be okay, right? We'll, we'll get back with uh, 4% to spare. <laughs> Crap. This is it. This is the this is the test though. So we've got to see how this goes. Um, well, to be fair, the test was, can you go out and do it? I mean, we're going to have to cut short some of the B-roll and filming. But we did yeah, get okay. to the halfway point with just over halfway battery. So the test wasn't, can you go and film a bunch of B-roll back and forth? Yeah, that's true. So if we're gonna cut that out, fair game. Pretty hectic there, so we actually are on the edge now. We're not too sure if these do run flat, we'll just be on the phone to Harley, I guess, and just be like, oi boys, we're stuck. <laughs> come with a van, please. <laughs> Hopefully um, it won't but, come to that. But there are those apps as well that we could check out. True, yeah, yeah, we if, could go find a plug and... If we get scared, I guess we can... Hang out for a bit while we... While we charge it'll be, just be like half an hour or something and it'll be done or like at least enough to get back but yeah that's where we're at so i'm feeling good about it i think we're gonna be okay are we gonna pin it going back as well we're we gonna take it easy well that's Eco the thing man? yeah we've we have been uh riding quite uh spiritedly as i'm sure you will have seen some of the other footage by now i like how you call it spiritedly spirited <laughs> but yeah i mean we're just gonna have to go eco mode and relax on the scene if, yeah oh well look for the twisties i'm still gonna you know here you go when we hit the motorway well, maybe i should go easy and you do it and then we'll see where we're at and then if you break down, it's going to keep going. Yeah. See you, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all right. Well, should we kick it? Uh, yeah. I think it's time to kick it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Damn you and your petrol engines. <laughs> uh, I do feel pretty snazz on these things, though, yeah. Wait, plenty of charge left in the helmets, though. Heaps of charge in the helmets. 60, 70% left in the helmets. And we've been filming pretty much the whole time and talking uh, on a call and everything. There's so going to be a lot of... Uh, pretty stoked about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's actually sick. It's exciting times, man. <laughs> it's exciting times. All right, let's go. Let it, oh, dude, why is the engine brake? It's got, this has more engine braking than road mode. Well, that's that's because of the back, ch the charging. Hey, it feels great just riding nice and slowly and cruisily. Oh, yeah. Actually, the bike doesn't want to ride slowly, though. It wants to go. No live wire. We won't make it home. <laughs> Behave. This is like around the backyard tour all over again, man. <laughs> when I actually ran out of fuel, just trying to, like, decelerate on all the way down the hills. Keep that charge in there. Ah, oh, nice bit of charge there. Yeah, that's why I was just sort of like wondering with the whole road mode because there's no engine braking. Oh well, yeah, he's well, yeah. It. yeah, if it was like actually worse off, like I don't know, like zero braking needed. Hey, like you're not going to see my brake light come on. It's quite pleasant. This. this is a nice leisurely pace. 51. I think we're selling ourselves a bit short. I'm chucking it in sport mode. <laughs> Should we? All maybe, right. for the, maybe maybe for the last uh, the last couple of sections. Yeah, we'll see how we get. Yeah, on the yeah, run totally. back to pie in the sky. Yep. Open her up. Oh, this is so good. 
<laughs> Even this mode, dude, this is like fine. It's yeah. still ballsy, it's still got some stuff. It's actually, I think it's probably better than road because you get think slightly more uh, engine braking. Yeah, I so think it yeah, is. It, it is a little bit, uh, that's what we were saying off camera. Sport mode is um, sport mode's the go for sure when you're in the twisties because you, when you don't have that engine braking and you kind of maintain that speed going into the corner, it does throw you off a little bit. Yeah. Freeway is probably worse for us actually. Yeah, it would be, yeah, for sure. That good zap. Must go through the twisties. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, are you braking there or no? No. Dude, your brake light's coming on. Oh, serious? Yeah, that, dude, every time, all this time you've been saying I'm not braking, I'm not braking, and your brake light's been coming on, and I'm like, what? Oh, that's clever. Well, let's check it out, ready? So I'm gonna take my hand off now. Yeah, dude, that's that's on. That's braking, braking, wow. braking, braking, braking. That was on oh. that whole time. Wow, that's heaps clever. Because that was on my mind, I'm like, Fuck it, does he know I'm braking? Or slow it down that quick. That's so interesting. I can't believe it's that's... taken us this long to work that out. <laughs> I reckon. That's clever. Wow. Yeah, because I haven't touched the brakes since we left, man. Yeah, me either. Your brake light's been lighting up like nuts, though. <laughs> man, eco mode has a bit of go on it still, hey? Oh, yeah. Dude, I can, you can probably just use this and be like totally satisfied. What do you reckon? Are we going to regret <laughs> pushing that last little bit at the end there when we had the option to turn back? That's all right. We're heading into the last section now, so. One last push up the pie in the sky. Are we going to pop it into sport? Or I feel like we don't have to, to be honest. Like, Yeah, nah, I'm, I'm probably not. Eco mode's pretty naughty. Hey. <laughs> it's not lacking any grip, hey. Ah. All right, the Harley Livewire certainly hold its own oh, on yeah. some naughty, naughty, twisty roads. Oh yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. Like changing direction is so easy because of that low center of gravity. Bloody Harley live wire, eh? I'm so impressed, eh? If I was going to get a Harley, this would be it for sure. Like I'm, not a Harley, like I'm not a crazy Harley fan or anything, but this is tickling my, tickling my whistle for sure. Yeah, it actually, uh, like I said, I was I was already a big fan going into it because I've been riding the thing around for two weeks. I knew going into it that it would hold its own. Like, I knew I wasn't going to have to be fighting with it or anything. But, um, yeah, even still, even with those high expectations going in, just super, super impressed about the way it handles itself. All right, I'm at 25%. Oh, I'm 27. Ooh, still, that's pretty gnarly, man. We got 30Ks to go-ish. Well, my range is saying 51 but um, that'll diminish quicker than the kilometers we're actually doing while doing motorway speeds, I think. 23%. I'll tell you what, I'm I'm getting a little nervous, I'll be honest with you. What if it stops in the tunnel? Oh, don't even. <laughs> GoPro's dead. Oh yeah, same, mine just died as well. How's that? The Foresight helmet has outlasted two GoPro batteries. Oh, so how's this? We're, we're on the motorway talking like pretty fine right now. Probably the speaker setup has helped some as well. Yeah, for sure. Oh man, yeah, it's stepped up. Yeah, no wrong corn, like no wrong turns, hey. <laughs> no. Yeah, every kilometer is it's pretty precious right now. Well, at least what happens, you run out first. All right, you can double me back to Harley. Ah, uh, how nice is the ceiling? It's so pretty. It's very gratifying that we made that decision to keep going in the end, and we're still going to make it back. Oh yeah, absolutely. I'm glad. Yeah, we'd did. be we'd be spewing if we got back and had like. 20, 30 percent or something. Yeah, fully. It's lucky we charged up at Harley when we did. Oh, I wasn't gonna. I know. And like we would have been, we would have been screwed. Yeah, so that's hectic, man. So like, yeah, you need to, you need to have a charging spot. You need to plan a charging point. They should, um, they should install one at Pie in the Sky or something. Yeah. Hey, going? What's that? Ah, uh, yeah, the the new live wire. How many times has that happened today? End of the line. We did it, brother. How good's that? I'm on 11 percent. Man, that could have, that really could have gone either way, man. <laughs> yeah, fully. Like even if we gunned it the entire way back, like you wouldn't have made it, I don't think. Nah. Yeah, if we had a if we had a stop for that any B roll, we would have been so yeah. rude. Yeah. Eight percent. Eight percent, I'm on eleven. Dylan's gotta charge his to get back to the office. <laughs> yeah, it was really touch and go It was so touch and go, man. So. So yeah, so you know, if we if we rode from Alexandria straight to where we rode to, 
there's no chance we would have gone flat but it's cool to see how um, you know we got up to 50% at the halfway point and then we sort of babied it ish like we went we went a little bit harder that's uh, the last section there yeah crazy to see how much of a difference it makes when you're actually in eco mode and you're not riding it too hard or anything like that we still did some freeway riding which is the worst for him but we got back I got back with 11% which is pretty pretty cool but in saying that you still need a charging point at the place that you're going to so if I was to own one of these you definitely want to get that app one of those apps that Dan mentioned I think it was Dan um, and do your research on where the charging points at at this stage in the live wire you know vibe because there aren't enough charging points around as, as we know uh, it'd be cool if that pie in the sky joint had some sort of charging port because this is going to be a thing I guess like when they get more popular and then they're going to end up like you know putting more charging points in but well, that's crazy man so yeah like I definitely wouldn't make it I wouldn't make it there and back in one charge like from my place there's no way so you'd need to sort of set aside half an hour 40 minutes or something grab a coffee chuck go to your live wire dealer and get them to charge it up and just have a little you know have a little sip that's the fast charge as well so it only takes like 40 minutes to get up to 80 percent or something 50 minutes but yeah interesting man that was really interesting um i'll see if dylan has anything more to say about that or to add is this on the charge now? How good is it? I go custom setting and it's zero regen and it's full power yeah. and full uh, throttle response as well. Yeah, I was going to do that. That's why I was just like, we should go on the settings at the halfway point and just go full regen. And then yeah, like, you can do it. Oh, yeah. right. That's what you're saying. Yeah. How good is that? So it's literally filling up. But it wouldn't have been so exciting then. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, no. We had right. more charge, isn't it? <laughs> but in saying that, we did like, we got 10% more coming back. Well, I did, you know what I mean? So like around 50% when you're at the point. The halfway well, point. Well, yeah, true. Coming back, we're on eco mode. We were behaving ourselves a bit more. Yeah, as well. a bit more. A little bit more. <laughs> Five percent more. <laughs> but yeah, so like it is actually impressive, I reckon. Yeah. Like that eco mode is, does actually work. Yeah. yeah. It works nicely. Well, look, I suppose we, uh, we answered the question, didn't we? The question was can you get on it and go and have just a familiar motorcycling experience without stress? And that was a little bit stressed there towards the end, but I that just comes down to route planning and when you own it, you kind of know a little bit more sort of what it's capable of and you can kind of plan around it a bit better so that was a that was a really good day so good all right i gotta get my bike and i'm gonna watch me stall it <laughs> how long do we charge that for like what 10 minutes yeah 10 15 minutes, 10 minutes? something like that how many how many uh 31 percent 31 percent 63 k fast charge home. well that's it that's a wrap thank you so much for watching guys i hope you like this video if you did please hit like hit subscribe check out foresight everything that you saw just then was all from the foresight helmet all from the foresight camera uh, so go check them out, they're, man, they're, they're pumping, they're getting some good stuff, good speakers, all these upgrades that are happening, just keep on improving, man, which is really cool. Huge amount of stock arriving at the end of the year. Uh, a new batch happening. USA launch, early 2022. You'll have them in time for spring next year. So make sure you follow the socials. Shameless plug, done.